Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial for XBMC. Now in this one I'm going to be showing you how to change the background in any um, skin, pretty much. Uh, it does give you, a lot of skins will give you the ability to change the background, but a lot of the times it only changes the first background, like this one here, like um, it'll show the ones that are behind the menu. But once you click on that item, say settings, and you go into settings, the background, as you can see, behind all of the menus is not the settings background. So the way that you change this is you're going to have to change this through your files. So we're going to head out of XBMC and head to your desktop. Now I'm on a Mac, so yours may be a little bit different on a Microsoft computer. I'm not sure. I, th I think it's pretty much the same. But um, anyway, so if you're on a Mac, you can click up here on Go hold down option on your keyboard and click on library that'll take you to the folder that we need to go to but if you're not going to do that I'll show you guys another way to do it so you're going to hit on Macintosh hard drive then you're going to click on users your user account or your you know your thing then you're going to want to go to library now by default um, Mac hides this folder if you have, I believe, 10.6 or higher operating system, it's going to hide this. So all you have to do is just right click, um, show view options, and then right here you're going to click show library folder. Or you can also just do the go and click option and then click on that. It'll take you to this folder here. So click on library, then you're going to click on application support, and then you're going to click on XBMC, and then you're going to go to add-ons. Okay, now before you do anything in here, it is um, a good idea to make a copy of um, the skin that you're going to be working in. So you're going to be looking for the skin that you have applied. Um, right now I have um, Aeon MQ5, so that's the one that I'm going to be changing, but it works the same for any skin that you're in. You're just going to want to search for this folder. So make a copy of whichever one you're doing just because if you mess something up in here you want to have the original. You don't want to have to go through the hassle of having to undownload it and download it again. So just make a copy of it. You're going to head into that and then you're going to find the backgrounds folder which is this one right here. You can click on that and now these are all the backgrounds that that skin uses. So if you want to change something all you have to do is drop that background in here and change it to whatever they have that background named. So for settings, we need to find the settings one. That's the one that we're going to change. And I'm going to add my own personal um, background for this. So I'm going to use this one here. So we're going to drop that in there. And when you're using your backgrounds, you want them to be um, 1920 by 1080 or um, the uh, smaller version of HD just so they look nice. Um, so just make sure they are big enough for your screen. If not, you're going to have them where they're stretched kind of funny and they won't look good. So, uh, Okay, hold on. We'll just delete that one. And we're going to change it to settings. Alright, and now every time I open my... Anything that has to do with settings, it's going to be that one there so okay so we're gonna exit out of here also yours may have more background choices than others like this one has a lot of background choices um, and then it also has extras which would be um, all kinds of images that are used within the skin now with Aeon Nox I'll show you guys that one real quick Aeon Nox doesn't have as many so you only have these here um, there are probably ways that you can add other ones in here. I'm not 100% on that because I believe that the um, the script that's written for the um, skin has these in it. So I'm not sure how you would do that. I'm not really good at script and stuff like that. So I can't tell you guys how to do that. If I figure that out, I will let you guys know. But anyways, that's where you change um, the backgrounds for Aeon Knox. For um, transparency, it's going to be the same. Just go into backgrounds. It works for pretty much any skin. Just look for your tr um, for your backgrounds folder. Once you do that, you're just going to want to relaunch your XBMC. So I'm going to close mine real quick because you have to uh, restart it in order for these changes to take effect. Um, so we're going to do that real quick. Oh, 
quick as in is it gonna go <laughs> maybe I didn't click it okay yeah I didn't click it all right loading up Doo -doo. okay so we are gonna go over to settings okay as you can see that background settings click on settings and now my background is the background that I use and it'll be that background for anything that I click into so that's how you change your background in any skin to work uh, all over the skin uh, if you guys have any questions please post them down below and I will do my best to answer them I am in no way a expert on XBMC I just share what I know but I will see you guys in another video bye